Women's soccer coach Dave Diani built a top program in Division II, winning three NCAA championships with the Lakers. He has left Grand Valley to take his talents to the Big Ten as head coach of the Iowa Hawkeyes. In our feature this week, Tom Cleary introduces you to his successor, who the Lakers believe will continue the success in women's soccer for years to come. After racing through an undefeated season last year that brought a national championship in December, life seemed perfect for the Lakers soccer program. That changed this past offseason, though, when Coach Dave Diani left in the spring to become the head coach at the University of Iowa of the Big Ten. But after a few weeks of uncertainty, things are looking up again under new coach Jeff Hostler, who comes to Grand Valley after a successful stint at Division III Elma College of the MIAA. This is the one, one job that I've talked to colleagues, family, and friends about, uh, that if it came open, I'd be <laughs> all over that uh, because of all those resources that it presents and provides. Well, when we lost Dave to Iowa, uh, which we were very excited for him and proud of him of all you, that he accomplished here, uh, we went to work uh, and, and, and had a wide open search and we had, in my opinion, the best pool of candidates we've ever had for a coaching search at Grand Valley. Uh, when you talk about the success of our program, the tradition, the wonderful facilities, uh, it's no question it attracted a great pool of candidates. And so that's a compliment to Jeff that he rose above all the others uh, to be named our head coach. When I heard, honestly, my first gut instinct was how difficult it must be for him to tell his players uh, and then to tell, you know, obviously administration and move on uh, because he had this Grand Valley soccer program as a proven commodity and uh, he's going into a little bit of an unknown in his new position. Uh, but from my standpoint, I'm excited because of the things that he's established here. And we had a high level of success at Alma. I think we're gonna have, uh, continue to have a very high level of success here. Uh, but I'm also excited because, you know, I haven't earned any of those things. And so I'm eager to, to kind of put my own, you know, footprint uh, on what we do. After arriving in Allendale, Hustler had to mesh immediately with a large group of returning players and to solidify his coaching staff took care of that second task by hiring Kristen Walker, a former Lakers star of a few years ago, as his full-time assistant. Yeah, very excited about my staff. I and mean, I think we've assembled one of the best staffs in the country uh, for any level, really. Uh, the addition of Annette Stromberg and Kristen Eibel, both, uh, Kristen Walker. Uh, we've got two very, very talented young coaches that have dove right into the coaching careers. Great. Valley State, the grandest team in the land again, and Division II women's soccer for the second year in a row. Well, you know, we expect a tradition of excellence with all the sports here. Um, so we expect kids that are going to come and provi provide and put forth the effort um, and the commitment needed on a, in a day in and day out basis. Um, and that's with academics, that's with um, your competitive nature on the field, and that overall athlete and student that we're recruiting. Um, are you a good person? Are you a good player? Are you going to be a good teammate? And can you help in the areas that we need moving forward? Last year, Dave Diani forged a national champion out of a roster of players that included a wealth of freshmen and sophomores. Virtually all of those players returned to the team in August, where they found a new coach who's as dedicated to an attacking offense as the old one was. Yeah, I think they're going to find a lot more similarities with Dave and I, then you'll ever find differences. Uh, our philosophy is very similar. We, uh, we fully appreciate the, the needs that you have defensively to have the success you want to have in a national level and to win championships. But I'll tell you, I'm an attacking guy. I mean, I, that's, that's where my roots were. That's where I admit was my, my bread and butter as a player. Uh, it's been my bread and butter as a, as a coach at the high school club and college level. Uh, my teams always score a lot of goals. I think it's the, it's the most enjoyable way to defend is by having possession of the ball and, and being on the attack. Uh, I don't anticipate us having any shortage of goals uh, because we're gonna do a lot of things that are very creative in the final third. Um, again, I think you'll see a lot of similarities, but there's gonna be some tweaks and changes uh, that even get some more numbers forward than maybe they have in the past. Even with an experienced lineup led by all GLIAC stars such as Jenny Shaba, UNA Odendahl, and Marty Corby, Grand Valley was always going to be hard-pressed to top its unbeaten campaign of a year ago. But with unprecedented depth and another bumper crop of freshmen available, Hostler and Walker don't try to downplay expectations for the 2014 squad. 
I've known Jeff for a long time. He's, he served as a mentor for me um, within club soccer, within getting involved in the college ranks a few years ago um, with ODP in Michigan. And he is the right person for this job. And, and I believed that from the get-go. Grand Valley will be called upon this fall to replace Abby Miller, the first team All-America goalkeeper who graduated after a single season between the posts. But Hostler should get plenty of production from the Mincotti family. Redshirt freshman defender Alexis missed last year through injury, but is now on hand to join her touted freshman sister Gabriella, who will play in the midfield. With those two players trying to squeeze into a crowded lineup of talented returnees, there's a chance this year's side will soon make people forget the departure of Dave Diani, who engineered the drive to three national titles in the last five seasons. For the Grand Valley State Sports Report, I'm Tom Cleary.